Today I want to show you how you can work with strip boards in Fritzing. I open a new file and delete the breadboard and here in the parts library I can find the strip board under the point breadboard view. So here's my strip board and now I want to set the size maybe 20 by 15 holes and set board size. Okay, if you have a real strip board then you would make disconnections in the copper trays by breaking the copper. In Fritzing when you hoover the trays between two holes there appears this tool and with that you can divide a trace into two traces. If it was not the right place then hoover it again and you can rebuild this copper trace. You can even hold down your mouse button and go through the traces you want to divide. And you can even rebuild it in that way. So it's quite easier, much easier than in reality, isn't it? So maybe now I want to place here an IC, like in that mega matching. Or you could, for example, place a capacitor here. or here and you can divide the trace afterwards. So it's quite easy to work with strip boards and fritzing and you can use them as like as a breadboard. When you're done you can go to the schematic view and make a nice schematic and you can go to the PCB view and build your own PCB out of it and if you want to you can produce it with fritzing fab. Mm -hmm.